What's up, fam? I hope all is well. Listen, I wanted to make a quick video to kind of explain. I get a lot of questions about how I record, what I use to track, and my signal path, all that good stuff. So, hey, let's make a quick video about it and show you exactly what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. So, number one, we're always going to start off with an amazing bass, which is my my absolute go-to New York Bassworks RS5 uh, jazz bass, which is absolutely killer. I got some other flavors here. Um, not, all, not all of them are there, but don't tell my wife that, okay? Thanks. Um, that RS5 is going into this Noble Tube DI uh, preamp, uh, and these are my settings. I'm usually leaving, I leave, usually leave the settings the same um, for everything, all right? Then I'm going out XLR, out of the DI XLR into the A Designs P1 500 series preamp. I put a pad on it, and I ride that gain to the level that I need to get to. I'm also running a, a throughput, so out of this Tube DI, and the awesome thing about this DI is that your your tube signal is also coming out of that throughput, uh, which is awesome. Not every not every DI does that. Um, so I'm getting the tube sound. I'm running a Y cable, and I'll do this because sometimes I'll run one side over to my amp over here, which is the Aish amplifications um, in the room here, so that I can monitor. And I just I don't always use it, but sometimes I want to just feel a little bit more bass and really kind of turn it up, and really inspires me in the room. So sometimes I'll do that. Uh, but the other Y split, which I am using all the time, that Y split is going into the Universal Audio Apollo Twin. And I'm running th that directly into the um, Ampeg SVT Unison uh, Amp Simulator. So what I'm doing is I'm sending two separate signals, the DI signal the fr from uh, the Noble going into the P1. And then I'm also sending the Apollo Twin to directly to the Ampeg SVT um, channel, and I'm I'm printing that directly to to that as well. Now, um, sometimes I need a little bit more something something on the color aspect of things. So I on, on this particular track that I was I was working on today, I used the UAD Teletronics LA2A compressor on one of the uh, one of the tracks, a DI line, and then I used a Waves CLA3A um, on the amp line. So and then. I'm telling you, I, I got to just mention these bad boys. Allo Audio, uh, amazing headphones. Those are their open backs I use for mixing. These are their closed backs that I use for uh, for tracking. And so that's what's happening there. So that's what I'm doing, the way that I'm doing it. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I got no secrets. Honestly, um, I'll let you know exactly what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. And so hopefully uh, it'll inspire you. Hopefully it'll help you um, to kind of get the sound and tone that you're going for and outside of that man just have a great one love you guys take care see you soon